okay now this is coming in. so this is the file and sas was searched so this link was cl clicked and come here which is the vcard um sas um script so this um click and paste it here after that then it will be downloaded to the full um, download document so this is it here then it is extracted to the windows folder to the desktop folder sorry new folder okay yeah so going to desktop folder we can see our extracted file here yeah? so checking the docs we see everything about the um, website here yeah, the script so the technology used which is laravel mysql ajax and jquery installation guide the system requirements where the actual script is which is the disk which will be on um, unzipped if the file will be unzipped we will copy to the local server in this case we we'll set up our database and we we'll set up our env dot env file which is the environment file where we put the name of the file the um drivers and the mail and everything there so now going to our file okay our folder so now let's go to our laragon let's look for laragon here yeah? which our laragon is our local host so the file will be sent um we should be uploaded we will, will be moved inside um the folder for our local host so let's create here yeah. yeah so this is the doc now let's go back for the disk file so when we click it here yeah. so it's loading so this is the vcard so we need to create another file here yeah, for the vcard another folder here yeah. so you can call it vcard yeah so then we move this vcard into the yeah move this and copy or move copy okay let's just click here and copy our what say control here and then we copy it into all what's that we copy into to be card while these are copying so let's go to our let's on our local host this is the local host here we can see the settings um my virtual host tld the template name is mine so any files which is running on laragon and also one to my local machine to be dot mine yeah so our terminal should be open also and then our database should be open also so going to our terminal we will create our database from there mysql as our database mysql u user our username is root and password enter the password password is empty then we directly go to create our database name it dcard so we want it which is that we know like that then we can also see the year okay let's and let's quit the database now let's see the into our v card which has which is still i think it's still uploading so i'm still moving we're still moving it cd um call it v card yeah so now let's set up our database while the files are uploading yeah, if we load here, yeah, you can see our V card here has been um, set up. So, 
these are data with regard nothing has been uploaded there so to upload the files we create a equal then we run we load an sql file so our sql file has vcards which came with the folder is in vcard and we open it here and you see really upload the texting file say yes and these are all the queries from the folder here i see them there so then we execute the sql so the files are executing you can check for our files is 65 percent complete also so you can see the um my sql is completed we will check our database So we reload, sorry, to reload here. Yeah. So we reload, you can see um, our files has been uploaded. Uh, my scroll query has been uploaded into the database. And so we are inside the folder of VCAD on the terminal. We can open our VS code from here to check the code and set up the EMV file. Okay, I think it's still uploading, so that's why most of the files I can see that it's strange here. Yeah. Most of the files have not been uploaded. You can close it and okay, yeah. I think it's ninety five percent done, ninety six percent. And to seven hundred percent down. Yeah, we have we got yeah, I think it's done now, yeah. So we can go to our terminal and write code to go to VS code. Yeah. So these are our files open. Let's go to our EMV file. That's the environmental file, environment file. So our name is vcard which is the name of the folder our database name is vcard also i think without s yeah let's check okay vcard yeah without s so our username is root that's correct our password is empty okay yeah it's empty so it will save automatically so now let's go to our browser to load our website card dot my wow no internet no internet card that's my load up uh um should load the website card it's my You know what's so on? I look how you know what's so on. Yeah, so this yeah let's stop to stop and let's start our local studio so
so um our v card has been database name everything has been fixed so let's head to our browser to load the website v card that's me so v card dot me is here and i'll put this so to get started you can go to register we can sign in so from the um documentation the email is s admin at vcard.com for the super admin that's one two three four five six so login okay let's log in as a user first which is admin at vcard and login successful so when you sign in you can sign out also are you okay we have login successful and everything is working perfectly fine so i'm going to sign out and login as um the super admin as the admin yeah so this is the admin this is the pages yeah save so this is actually everything about the admin the admin the admins you can also add admin as a super admin you can add admin you can also add users these are the v cards um, you can see the v cards created these are all the v cards templates um the subscribed user plans the executive um all the transaction the countries these the countries and the currencies so um the feature i'll add to it is the country you can see new country and the currency you can see new like you can add new currency so now let's enter our vs code to do that i've already done that on the um on the file before so i'll just be going out um we go to how that was done so let's go to um the v card where that was done So now let's add on, let's add on to our um our route. Okay, let's add on to our okay our resources where the views are and where we can see this page that we are talking about, which is S admin and currencies. So this is admin folder and this currency folder so under the currency the folder initially if we go to the um the main the first file let's go to the first file which is the v card <coughs> we check the currency um we check the um the views Okay, we check the source folder under the views. This is the how it was downloaded. Yeah, check the S admin and see the currencies as only the index blade. So now the code that has been added to it, the blade template. Yeah, so the add button has also been added, which is this is the button that is going to um that is going to be clicked to um to to show the model, and this is the model. The model has a is a form which has an action as currency as the and CSR is there use a post method um the input are currency name the currency icon and the currency code which is going to be which is going to be in um on the form and this is the submit button and um this is submit button and start button so this has been done. So if we load our V cards. V cards dot me. Yeah. So that's where the work has been done already. So we log in as S admin. Yeah, I'm going to currency.
so you can see the ad currency button is now there which is not here before so you click on it you can see the add new currency the name the currency icon and the currency code so now so to add new currency to show it you have um the library table yeah um the currency code the currency table oh no not the library library on the app folder yeah it should be live okay this is the currency table yeah. so this is that so this public this function was added which has the component name of the currency add button which means the add button this add button here add currency to show so so for our form here we have the action which is the currency then we have to go to the route our route web to give to yeah so this is the route that was added in the super admin function in, in the middle for the super admin so the route which has a post method the action is currency for our controller class the name of our function is store and currency dot store so then when we now go to the controller our, con our controller which is for the currency it should be here that currency controller so we added the store function is going to store our currency and it request to get the request uh all that was requested which is equal to which is just the same as it is on our model check our models there um yeah currency and see the currency name currency i can currency code which is just the same as it is now view okay now view folder here at the add bots add model blade you can see it's just same as the name currency name currency icon currency code so the controller this is the one that's going to do the job of saving um the currency to the database the request all and everything was saved to the database so when it is saved it will direct to the same page and the sources of currency created so now let's carry that out let's reload add currency the name of the currency chinese naira icon let's look for an icon okay let's see icon is Okay, our code C Chinese Nera save and the Chinese Nera is here which is our currency and CTA and so that's all. Yeah, thank you.